Well, hello, Aries. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Aries, we're going to go ahead and get right into your reading. If you are um, interested in a personal reading and all of that, that information is inside of the description box. I got off. I don't know how I end up talking about that. <laughs> One of your cars flipped over and I just literally went there. Okay, if you guys are interested. All right, so one of the cards that came out here talks about someone who is a drama king or queen. Someone who has a lot of drama, okay? You could also be dealing with someone who has a lot of, a lot of biases, okay? This could be family members, you know what I mean? It could be friends. You got you guys, some of you could have biases, okay? But I think it's called is it biases or biases, whatever it is, you know. Um, and this is just something to check because we're all different, okay? And we love our differences, we love the fact that we're different. Just as long as it's pure, I always say that, you know, sometimes people have a hot personality, right? But as long as they have as long as they um don't hurt you, then it's okay, it's all good. But I do see that someone here does have some type of bias, okay? And again, I'm seeing, I'm seeing drama queen or king. This could be a family member. This is, could be someone that you're dealing with. Now, here in your in your position, some of you may have, maybe you may have emotional baggage or, you know, I'm not gonna say children are baggage, but you know, somebody may have said that to you. But whatever it is, I feel like that, that could be something that you were experiencing and with a lover, um, someone here has some type of baggage in this, in, in this reading. Yeah. I also feel like you're dealing with someone who has a lot of money. Okay. Um, but maybe they have, but again, maybe they have a lot of emotional baggage. Someone does. And that could be a problem. Something that someone said, um, a lot of bad memories, it doesn't even, I, that's why I had to say what I, that's why I'm saying it this way, because it doesn't even have to be children. And I'm not saying children are baggage, but I'm, I'm, I'm just going off with what I see on the internet, okay? Um, and a lot of people will just say that it's baggage, okay? Um, you know, emotional baggage is another thing, but somebody could be complaining about that. But I do believe that you may be talking to someone, for those who are just single, I feel like you may be talking to someone who is pretty stable, but I also believe that they could have bring a lot of drama, Okay? I also see here that someone is going to be taking action. Maybe that's walking away, okay? Or someone who who has been interested in you coming in here because that's a door. This talks about opportunities coming in here, right? So either way, either walking away from something or um, something coming in. I also have another card here. Didn't I say that? This is bigot. What does it say? It says prejudice or antagonist. Now, again, I don't know why I'm saying it. I don't know why I'm saying that. But, okay, so that was correct. So someone does have some biases. Now, I don't know why that came out. I was just talking about that. Ooh, okay. You know, people are allowed to have their preferences. And sometimes people, when they have their preferences, they beat down on what they feel isn't their preference. And, you know, that's just... I mean, I'm not even sure why that happens, but this could be someone's issue. But I feel like that could be a part of the baggage. You know, do you want to deal with someone who's like this? Okay. This could be inside your house. All right. Um, but that's what I'm saying. Let's go ahead. We're going to get one more here. I see blood sucker. So this is someone who just, just zaps you of your energy. Okay. That's what it looks like to me. Someone who's just zaps you of your energy. So what are we looking at here? I mean, Aries, this is pretty, this is pretty tough. I mean, you got a, someone who's causing a lot of drama, someone who's low, weighing you down here with all of this baggage. Maybe you feel like you're loaded down with some other people's problems, somebody else's problems. I do feel like someone, for a lot of you, someone that's going to come in here does have money, but you got to make sure that it's right, not dealing with them just because they do have money. Opportunities that are coming in here, okay? But we got to see. What's going on with the bigot and the blood sucker? Okay. <laughs> we got to see what's happening here. But that could be with anybody. It doesn't have to be with a lover or anything. But we're going to go ahead and get into the reading. We're going to see what's going to come out here for you, Aries. 
This is for earrings. This is for earrings. Let's get it. I do see that some of you started a yeah, starting a new job too. But you know, what was so funny is that a lot of you took action and walking away from someone. That's what you did. And you ran away really, really fast. I also feel like here, Aries, somebody feel that you have baggage. Because, you know, here with the nine of wands, that did show up in your that showed up in your energy though. We gotta be honest, it showed up in your energy. And that makes me feel that this has something to do with emotional for you guys. You guys have a lot of anxiety, okay? Um, and again, it could be other things as well. But, you know, the Nine of Wands is feeling tired, okay? Now, you could feel that way about yourself, feeling like you're just overloaded with things, all right? And it's okay to admit it. And this has caused a lot of unfulfillment in your life here, Aries. Let's go ahead. Thank you. Mm, yeah, a lot of struggles, sadness. Even someone who you're who you were interested in, you know, um, they have their own issues. Yeah, this was something that needed to, you guys needed to leave this. This is kind of like both you and your person were, were mirroring each other. Neither one of you were healed. You really weren't. Okay, they were dealing with other people. Maybe you were dealing with other people. But it's the inability to forget and forgive the past and move forward. And I feel like, you know, they had issues with that. You had issues with that. It's just that type of thing. And being together was making it worse, like a big old mess. So I do see new beginnings here. I do see that. I do see you guys dating. Okay, I see a lot of change in your energy. Like I said, something about your job, I think I said that earlier with that Eight of Cups when that came out, some of you are leaving your old job or your old way of doing things by, as far as making money and there's going to be new ideas with making your finances here. This is for Aries. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you saw something in the past. Some, some truth came out. Clarity. Okay. And you walked away. There was some type of interference. The truth of the matter is here, Aries, some of you have to decide what you want. Do you want, do you even want to be in a relationship? You know what I mean? That could be the, the decision you need to make. It doesn't even have to be two, about two different people. But it's like, do you even want to be in a relationship? Or are you just kind of, you know, wanting to be, you know, just have company? You just want to talk to different people but not necessarily be serious. This is for Aries. So I do see someone coming in here um, in your energy. This could be someone that you know, okay? For others, this could be another person. I do see that there's going to be a new person coming in here. Yeah. So I believe that right now you guys are just feeling a little lonely, a little detached from the world. It's that type of thing. Um, your overall energy, like I said before, is just feeling weary and tied down. It could be because of family. You know, maybe your car is acting up. Um, you know, a lot of you may have, you, you know, you do very well as far as financially. You're very recognizable. Um, and you're trying to hold it all together. You know, if you know how you could be, you know, everyone knows you and they expect for you to look a certain way, act a certain way. It's that type of thing. But on the inside, you're falling apart. You're crumbling here with the nine of wands. You know, that's what I'm saying. So I do see that there's going to be a little love interest. I mean, it could be someone new. It could be someone that you know. Um, but I'm not seeing anything too definite. I just feel like a lot of healing needs to be done in this reading. We're going to go ahead and clarify a few cards here for you, Aries. Let's see. Let's get the Nine of Wands. Yeah, a lot of overworked, a lot of working energy. And for a lot of you, you've been there's been sneaking around. 
Maybe some of you have to choose between two different people or choose between your work and a relationship. Maybe there's a lot of issues with, you know, people cooperating with you. You, you know, you're just like, okay, is anyone going to cooperate with me when it comes down to my business or in relationships? A lack of cooperation could be causing some kind of tired energy here. So, yeah, like I said, I do see that for some of you that you will be having someone come in here. Okay, it could be a Leo for some of you. You got new love here. So you do have two different people. And this new love, you don't even know this person. A lot of you don't even know this person. So don't expect to be like, oh, maybe it could be. What it looks like to me is that this person is new all the way together. You don't even know them. For some of you, there is going to be someone that's going to come in here that you do know, you know, right where you, right when you start talking to someone new or right before, okay? But I just don't see it, you know, moving in any good direction. Let's get this page of cups. A lot of you are dealing with Aquarius, okay? You're dealing with someone who's just very unfulfilled. They, you know, someone is hoping to talk to you. They really want to talk to you, and they're going to. Even if it's just a little message, I see it happening. But again, I see new love here, so I don't see you really getting involved with someone that you already know. I see this being someone new. Ooh, ooh card fell. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. I got it. <laughs> it fell down the thing. Yeah, I see you releasing. That's what I'm saying, and new love coming in here, okay? Ten of Cups, I mean, for some of you, this could be, you know, a child's father, mother, that type of thing. Again, we kept on talking about baggage, you know. And again, I'm not saying that they are. I, You know, I had a child myself, so I would never say that. But again, we're talking about vocab, what people say. Um, remember, there was someone who was draining your energy. And the reason why this needs to get out of your energy is because no matter how much you love them or how much you really wish for something, I do believe that you got to release in order to receive something that's going to be very unexpected that's going to come in here, okay? Um, yeah, because it's just been a lot of... Just dealing with someone who just has a lot of drama, okay? I'm going to go ahead and pull some oracles here for you, Aries. This is going to be for Aries. Let's see what comes out. Totally seeing a new job and new love here. New job and a new love. All right. Cars flying everywhere. So I definitely see that there is going to be some type of recognition achievement. This is what I was just talking about. That's what I'm seeing. I also see that a lot of you are going within. That's the reason why I feel like you're kind of detached. You know, you need time alone. You need time to think um, about your future. Okay. Two more here for Aries. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of you are going to be let, letting something go. Some of you are in a sense of loss, you know, um, moving on, okay? And then I also see here that you could be dealing with someone who's an earth sign, but it also talks about, you know, the reason why something has to end because someone is stubborn as hell. And again, that could be the person that's draining your energy. Okay, it could be whoever, but that's what I'm saying. But expect a lot of change here. Like I said, there is some loss, some grief of losing something or someone in your reading. But I see success here for you. I do see a new beginning here for you, Aries. But this is what I have for you. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Again, if you are new, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you back here again soon. Bye.